Oh, and by the way, I just want to bring something up. This is not a sweat stain. People in the videos who've been seeing me wear these kind of undershirts uh, in my videos for my vlogging and stuff are like, Phil's got sweaty armpits. It's gross. It's not wet. I set up the new the new OBS, which I'm using right now, OBS Studio, and I figured out I could stream at one quality while I recorded another, which means the reason I left Twitch TV is gone. I could actually go back if I wanted. Now, obviously, I still have a lot of issues with them and their business practices, but overwhelmingly, my viewers and fans have been telling me I have to go back to Twitch, that streaming on YouTube is just a lost cause. People are not going to show up. So, I'm listening. Now, but listen. This, this is a big bullet for me to bite. Because I really just, I am diametrically opposed to a lot of the philosophies of people who stream on Twitch and the business at itself. So that being said, I decided earlier this week when I had to go to this new uh, capture software and I, I upgraded it and everything and I figured out that I could stream at a different quality than I record, uh, I said, what the hell, shot in the dark, I don't know what's gonna happen, but let's see if I can get my Twitch channel re-enabled. Now for those who don't know, my Twitch channel uh, is fine. I never sh I never actually uh, like deleted it or anything. Uh, it was me, it was all these rumors on the internet from fucking dumb kids. Did you hear what happened? Uh, one day Phil was streaming and Leanna sh just deleted his channel. What? Yeah, my girlfriend deleted my channel. What the fuck are you talking about? You must be like mentally handicapped to see something so stupid. Like, how do you think that even works? I, this is it. Rumors on the internet. Some people think that Twitch banned me. No. None of this ever happened. It's all fabricated bullshit. Um, so anyway... The channel, the channel was re-enabled about midweek this week, but a lot of stuff was missing. It wasn't functional. So I wrote another message to Twitch asking, you know, did you see this? Do you, why is it like this? Can you help me? And I got a response from the head of partnerships, which was pretty cool. The head guy contacted me and he says, uh, well, you know, uh, I took a look at your channel and it looks like there were some weird settings that were applied to your channel that I've never even seen before. I can't mind this happened over two years ago, so who knows who it was that did all that shit to my channel two years ago. Anyway, it could have been some rogue mod or something. Who knows? But he says, here's what I'm going to do. I turned on your chat. Your chat works. Uh, the reason you don't have a sub button is because you are in a very old contract. I'm in a contract from over two years ago that is a legacy contract. Apparently, all their contracts are different now. I'm sure that they pay differently. Who knows if it's more or less, by the way. I have no idea. All I know is when I left, the ad revenue sucked. So, if the ad revenue still sucks, I guess nothing changed. Um, but I'm assuming that there's all these different stuff, new, new terms and conditions you got to read through and sign and everything. And he says, so yeah, technically you could run ads, but we, I don't even know if they'd be able to pay me. All right, based on any ads that I ran on a stream there or anything like that. And no, the sub button's not there because the contract's outdated. So he says, you basically, we have to send you a new contract, and you have to review it, agree to it, and then we can re-enable all that so that you can have proper advertisements and a sub button back, okay? So that was good. That sounds good. But he says, oh yeah, by the way, he wrote, to, this was Friday when he wrote to me. He says, by the way, we're basically off now. We're not even at work. We've been off because Thanksgiving was Thursday. It's a national holiday in the United States. And they were off. He said, we're off today. We're off all weekend. We're not back till Monday. So I'm like, that's nice. You know, a, a business who literally their business is 24-7 game streams, right? They have no staff in the office until Monday. So that's a four-day weekend for them. Even though their business still has to operate and everyone still uses it, they can't process anything for four days because they're all off. I'm just saying, when I used to work at an office job, I worked at a company called Helicopter Support. We had customers worldwide who needed support. They're flying a helicopter. Just because it's Thanksgiving weekend doesn't mean a helicopter doesn't, mean, doesn't need to fly and do business for the rest of the world. And they had staff every single day 24-7. I'm just saying. Anyway... <laughs> So, basically, I was told, Monday, I will be in contact with them again. They're probably going to send me the new contract to review. I'm going to read it, obviously, because I want to see what's changed in two years. Uh, since the, you know, Then again, my contract is probably from two years before then. So, the contract I'm in with Twitch is basically a 4.5-year-old contract. Holy shit. From early 2013. That's not 4.5 years. That's 3.5 years. I completely misspoke. So, um, yeah, I definitely need to get in the new contract, but from what I'm going to understand, this is what he told me, he says, even if we get it to you right away and you sign it right away, it still has to process and then they have to upgrade the channel, so probably it's not going to be done till the end of this week. So, the good news, for those who've been urging me for years to go back to Twitch, Twitch is the place to be, you'll get extra viewers on Twitch, it'll be worth it to stream on Twitch, go back to Twitch, we like Twitch stream chat, we like the quality streams on Twitch, we like subs on, subbing on Twitch, we like everything about Twitch, 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 Twitch fucking Twitch, it looks like by the end of this week, my Twitch channel should be fully functional, and yeah, obviously, I will try to stream over there, and we'll see how it goes. Alright, what I'll probably do, I'll be streaming at 720p quality, which is lower than what I broadcast on on YouTube, and it's lower than the on-demand videos on YouTube. Alright, it'll be lower resolution, but it'll be full 60 frames per second. So 60 frames per second, 720, if you're watching a game like Call of Duty or whatever, it'll look smooth. Okay? And my videos for YouTube will remain 1080p, 60 frames per second. So basically, when you think about it, there's actually more incentive to watch the videos on YouTube if you have a good internet connection because it's better quality, all right? There's actually more incentive to watch the videos on demand on YouTube. 
But that being said, a lot of people love to be there live. They love the live, you know, the, the interaction with people in the stream chat and seeing it live and reacting live with a group of people. Like you're in a movie theater, right? You're watching a movie, you're laughing with the people there. It's kind of the same thing on Twitch. Some people really like that experience. Um, so that's going to be, you know, you'll have to watch a slightly lower quality because that's all Twitch allows. They won't allow me to do the quality I want. But I'll do it. I'll stream at the lower quality and I'll record it the higher. And we'll see how it goes. All right. So I'll have more information once I get contacted by Twitch and we get the, that ro ball rolling and all of that. I'll let everyone know exactly when it looks like this channel will be ready. And once it is, even if I am, say, three, four days into Final Fantasy XV or whatever, I'll probably still do a stream as my welcome back to Twitch stream, you know, um, to, to reintroduce myself and to get accumulated, or get accumulated, to get readjusted, because I, I haven't streamed over there in years, so I gotta get used to having the dashboard running on my laptop and running ads and all of that, which I don't do any of that shit on YouTube at all. I don't pay attention to it. I literally, on YouTube, just play the games. Um, so it's gonna be a, a change. Again, if people start subbing and stuff to, to say, give thank yous at, at breaks and stuff, it's gonna be a difference, an adjustment. Uh, we'll see how it goes. Alright, we'll see how it goes. We'll play it by ear. <laughs> I don't know. I haven't been there in two years. I really don't know too much about what's changed. I just want to kind of play it by ear and let it happen and see what happens and go from there. I have headphones jabbing me in my fucking ass here. 